hunted into extinction by our own hairy ancestors 800 years ago, beavers could be on the way back to these shores. And scientists claim the shy, nocturnal creatures could help the environment and even lower our water bills. An independent study for Natural England says reintroducing beavers to England's rivers could reduce flooding and cut the costs of cleaning up pollution. And they insist beavers would not spread disease or gnaw down large trees. It seems they don't even eat fish. Our science correspondent Tom Clark has more. The medieval Catholic Church defined beavers as fish. Good for people because it meant you could have meat on Fridays and during Lent. Bad for beavers, hunted not just for their flesh, considered a delicacy, but also pelts and medicinal secretions. They were extinct in England by the 12th century. Now a study for Natural England, the body responsible for wildlife, finds not only can the beaver be returned to England, it might even make it a better place to be. It's a native species that's gone extinct and generations of Englishmen in centuries gone by have had the joy and the pleasure of seeing beavers. So I think there is an argument that our generation should be able to see beavers and I think the report shows they do a fantastic amount of good for the environment. But on the face of it, beavers are quite destructive. They can easily fell trees a foot wide and continuously cut sticks through the winter for food. Occasionally they build dams to raise water levels around their underwater burrows. But at this site in Kent, where beavers have been reintroduced to an enclosed area, they've actually improved the ecology, naturally coppicing the forest. This birch tree is living proof of what the ecologists call beavers' ecosystem engineering. These are the teeth marks of the beavers gnawed through the trunk. And this, the new growth that's resulted. And that's why ecologists are so in favour of reintroducing them, because they can restore wooded wetland habitats like this to the way they once were when beavers roamed Britain. We've been observing how the beavers have helped hydrate the soils and what animals have come back. Now, in this site, just over here, we've got the rare cow wheat plant. Mm -hmm never seen in this area of woodland before. After the beaver coppiced this area four years ago, from the seed bank, all these flowers sprang out. But landowners, farmers and fishermen along England's rivers don't all buy into beavers as a force for good. I honestly don't see that there's any proven benefit in introducing an animal that can do that much damage to our existing uh, environment. If they build dams, you know, can the salmon uh, sea trout and trout and indeed other species get through those barriers to reach the, the upland spawning areas which are so vital for, for, for those species. Those who don't believe in beavers lost in Scotland where 17 Norwegian animals are being reintroduced this spring. Ecologists insist there's nothing to fear. They argue that beavers, fish and forests co-evolved and that water quality, riverbanks and fish stocks will improve when this missing piece of Britain's ecological jigsaw returns. Tom Clark reporting. And if you want to know what this is and what its relationship is to what he's been talking about, go to my blog site, Snowblog, Channel 4 website.